morning, Phoenix High School. Welcome back to another school year. My name is Guillermina Rodriguez. And I'm too tired to be here. I mean, and I'm Yasmin Conscious. From now on, every Monday morning, we're going to bring you the news and announcements of what's happening here at PHS. So sit back and listen up. You never know what might apply to you. We're going to start today with news from our After School Academics Program, aka ASAP. ASAP will begin this week in the Diploma Center. It will be Tuesday through Thursday, and an activity bus will be running. Students need to be ready in the bus loop at 425. This program is for any students who need extra time or support, support after school for academics. ASAP is a great opportunity. Everyone should take advantage of it if they need help here at Phoenix High School. Also, Mr. Carvalho's DECA Club will be meeting Wednesday in Mr. Carvalho's room at 1229. In choir news, our new choir teacher, Mr. Brock, is looking for more male students to join choir. If you love to sing and want to be a part of this class, see your counselor and sign up for choir. Speaking of school activities, PHS has a new attendance policy in place for our student athletes. Any student athlete that has an unexcused absence at the end of the school day will not be allowed to practice that day. The same policy from the past still applies to student athletes who are marked with an unexcused absence on the day of a contest or day before a contest if the contest is on a Saturday. They will not be allowed to participate. This is important for all students, not just our athletes be to class on time. Hey Yasmin, I have a question. Yeah? You like to argue, don't you? I kinda do. <laughs> and do you think you're always right? I am always right. Well guess what, I have news for you. Um, you might, I have news for you that you might like. There's a speech and debate meeting today. Ah uh, yes, today during lunch in Mr. Roderick's room, ev everyone who's interested in speech and debate is encouraged to attend. Also, Phoenix Speech and Debate team will be having a workshop on Saturday, September 17th, for new people who are interested in learning about speech and debate. See Mr. Roderick for more information. Man, there's just so much to get involved in here at Phoenix High School. I sure hope every student is joining a club, activity, or sport. The more you involved you are, the more connected to your school you are. Speaking of awesome clubs, the FFA Welcome Back Barbecue will be on Monday, September 19th at 6 p.m. in the Commons. Bring your family and friends. In more FFA news, Phoenix will be offering free dues for the first 30 freshmen to sign up. This means you get to participate in FFA events and contests for free, and you get our chapter t-shirt for free. Also, Green Hand members, aka freshmen or first year FFA members, miss a day of school Monday, September 26th for the Southern Oregon FFA Green Hand Conference. See Mr. Kennedy, Walkup, or any of the officers for more information. Wow, what an opportunity. I hope we have tons of students that take advantage of our amazing FFA program. You know, Mr. Kennedy was awarded the FFA Teacher of the Year this summer. Congrats, Mr. Kennedy. Speaking of great teachers, Mr. Cornett has a message for anyone interested in joining cross country. Anyone interested in joining needs to speak to Mr. Cornett in room North 207 today. There's still time, and if you sign up soon, you can make the team trip to Crater Lake. So, join cross country. Just a quick reminder, if you'd like to join cross country, talk to Mr. Cornett in room N207. Another amazing opportunity for students to get involved in this year is with our theater department. The fall production for PHS this year is the Triangle Factory Fire Project, the true story of the worst workplace disaster in New York City up until 9-11. On Monday, September 19th at 3.45 to 5, Mrs. Brown will be holding an audition workshop where you can learn more about the fall show and how to have a successful audition. Auditions will be September 20th at 3.45 to 5.30. Improv Fest is also coming up October, October 1st. If you're interested in going, talk to Mrs. Brown as soon as possible. And also, attention to any returning thespians. On Wednesday, we will be meeting in Mrs. Brown's room during lunch to make signs for our homecoming parade. If you're planning on helping with a fall show or want to be in the parade, please stop by. Starting this week, Phoenix High School's Vex Robotics Competition Club will be starting. If you have any interest in robotics, engineering, mechanics, or just want to see what is happening, come by Computer Lab A Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. The ASAP bus will be available to provide home after meetings. How cool. Well, any students interested 
In being the Phoenix High School student representative at our school board meetings, please pick up an application at the front office. The student representative goes to bi-weekly meetings of the Phoenix Talent School Board and reports on the news of the high school. If this sounds like something you want to do, pick up an application at the front office after advisory. In future Planning Center news, Financial Aid Night is just one week away. Seniors and their parents are invited to attend on Tuesday, September 20th, starting at 6.30 p.m. in the Commons. This is an opportunity to learn about the process of applying for financial aid, scholarships, and grants for college. Also, be sure to check out the upcoming events board in the Future Planning Center. We're hosting visits from college reps from schools such as Oregon State University, Willamette University, Southern Oregon University, and way more. If you're interested in learning more about any of these schools, you must sign up in advance. Seniors, it's never too late to start thinking about senior pictures. Senior pictures will be due for the yearbook by February 3rd this school year. All right, let's check out our fall sports and how they've performed so far this season. Our cross country team competed in Eugene on Saturday, September 3rd to start their season. The boys team placed eighth out of 14 teams and our girls finished eighth out of 10. The boys were led by Robbie Voss with a time of 16 minutes and 37 seconds. Our girls were led by Daniel Yonser who finished with a time of 20 minutes and 15 seconds. This past weekend, both our boys and girls competed at Brookings Harbor. The boys placed fourth out of 11 teams, once again led by Robbie Voss. The girls came out in fifth out of seven teams and were led by Shayla Potratz. In soccer action, both our boys and girls are off to a great start. Our girls started the season with a big 10-0 win over Marshfield and fell in a tight competition to Sutherland 0-1. Our boys lost in their season opener 3-5 to North Bend, but rebounded to get a, six, a big 6-0 victory over Cottage Grove. We have a young volleyball team who is working hard this year and is continuing to improve. Be sure to come out on Thursday as they open up league play against Mazama and cheer on the team. Speaking of cheering, we have a lot to cheer about for on our football, football field this year. On Friday, September 2nd, our Pirates open the season with a win against Crook County 20-14. And on Friday, our Pirates fell to Marshfield in a hard-fought battle 14-47. Be sure to cheer them on this Friday as we host South Umqua. So every week at the end of our show, PHTB will read a trivia question referring to something we talked about during the show. If you know the answer, write it down on a piece of paper with your name and your advisor's name and enter it in the manila envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door, room N206A, for a chance to win a $5 gift card to Subway. Okay, so our first question of the year is, which Phoenix High School teacher won the FFA Teacher of the Year Award this past summer? Once again, once again turn in your answer in with your name on it and your advisor's name on it to the Melina, Mel, Mel envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door for a chance to win a Subway gift card. Well, Germina, are you ready for our first little week of school? Nope, <laughs> and I can't believe we're done with our first show. Right, only 31 more to go. And remember to get to class on time and listen to your teachers and stick around for the pledge. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news. Welcome back Your dreams were your ticket out Welcome back To that same old place that you laughed about Well, the next